Atul Kocha was born and raised in India and has been passionate about food for as long as he can remember. But his career nearly didn't get off the ground. Although his father ran a successful catering company, he had different plans for his son. He wanted me to be a doctor. But just to keep him happy, I went to medical school for three months and then came back saying that, no, I don't want to deal with dead bodies, I'm happy cooking. After training and working as a chef in India for five years, Atul moved to London in 1994 to open the Tamarind restaurant. British people eat more Indian food than any other food. It is very important thread of British cultural social fabric, I would say. It's, it's part of British food, and British had this 200 odd years of association with India. Atul's unique fusion of classical and modern Indian cuisine soon won a loyal following. And just seven years later, he became the first Indian chef ever to be awarded a coveted Michelin star. The first thing that came to my mind was fantastic, you know. We have arrived, <laughs> finally people have recognized us. And I thought it could only happen in British gastronomy. Atul left Tamarind to set up his flagship restaurant, Benares, showcasing his own unique style of British cooking. I call myself a British chef. I never call myself an Indian chef. I cook with British, in, uh, British food with Indian influence. That's what I do. So he's in no doubt that he qualifies for great British menu, and in particular as a chef for the Southeast. I truly represent London and Southeast, that's for sure, because if it is Indian food is part of any other cuisine or culture outside India, it's London and UK only. Atul's very clear about what his cooking represents, but Gary is equally clear that he disagrees. I think Indian food is a British way of eating. That doesn't make it British cuisine. The masses want to go to their local Indian and have that takeaway. Whatever they want to do, that's fine. I'm not going to try them, stop eating this, stop eating that. There's lots of great flavors to be enjoyed there, but it's not British cuisine. So each chef champions a very different style of British cuisine. And over the next five days, their recipes will be put to the test as they battle it out for a place in the national final. Today, they're both throwing down the gauntlet with their starter dishes. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's start again here. You're actually <laughs> saying that mine is about chemistry and yours is no, about no, flavour. No. Tomorrow's fish course creates waves in the kitchen. I would rather save up and eat oysters with champagne and turbot than, than go for a Fried. takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> For Wednesday's main course, East faces off with West over poultry dishes. One thing I didn't tell you at the beginning of this competition, I am a bad loser. And by Thursday, the only sweetness left in the kitchen is in the puddings. Are you going to make any changes to uh, any of your recipes tomorrow? I might just make some tweaking here and there. What, you're going to make them nice? <laughs> no, I'll keep them. <laughs> 